Hello students, under the topic coordinate geometry, the first formula that we are going to learn is to find the distance between two points. So if you have two points P and Q and the coordinates of the point P is given by X1, Y1 and the coordinates of the point Q is given by X2, Y2. So the distance between these two points is given by the formula PQ is equal to square root of X1 minus X2 the whole squared plus Y1 minus Y2 the whole squared. So let us learn this with the help of a problem. So let us see this example. So now here we have a, have a question which says that Find the distance between the two points 4, 7 and minus 2, 5. So let us find the distance between these two points. So first let us name them. Let us name, name this coordinate 4, 7 as P. So let us take this point as P. So 4, 7 and let us take this point as Q. So the coordinates of Q is minus 2 comma 5 we have to find the distance between these two points which is given by the formula pq is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole squared plus y1 minus y2 the whole squared so let us write the formula first so the distance between the points p and q is pq which is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 the whole squared plus y1 minus y2 the whole squared. Now we shall substitute x1, x2, y1, y2 over here. Now what is x1? That is the coordinate, the x coordinate of the point P is x1. So this is x1, this is x2, this is y1, this is y2. So this coordinate is x1 comma y1. This is x2 comma y2. So let us substitute that now here. So therefore, PQ will be equal to square root of, now what is X1? 4. So 4 minus, what is X2? Minus 2. So 4 minus of minus 2. The whole square plus, what is Y1? Y1 is 7. So 7 minus, what is Y2? It is 5. So 7 minus 5, the whole square. So let us simplify this. So that is equal to square root of. Now this will be 4 minus of minus 2. So minus multiplied with minus will become positive. So plus. So 4 plus 2 the whole square plus 7 minus 5 the whole square. Further simplifying this we get. So this is to be equal to square root of 4 plus 2. That is 6 square plus 7 minus 5. 2 square and so that will be equal to square root of now what is 6 square it is 36 plus 2 squared is 4 so that is equal to square root of 40 so therefore the distance between the point P and Q is equal to square root of 40 now because units are not given in the question we can generally write it as square root of 40 units so this is the answer. We can further simplify this because square root of 40 can be actually written as square root of 4 multiplied with 10. Now what is the square root of 4? It is 2. So that is equal to 2 square root of what is left out because we have taken this 4 out of the square root and it has become 2. Square root of 10 will be remaining. So we have 2 square root of 10 units. So this is the distance between the point P and Q. Hope you have understood this. Let me explain this with the help of another one more example. Now here we have another one example. So now here we have two points and we have to find the distance between these two points. So let us take the point P as minus 2 comma minus 5 and the point Q as 4 comma 7. Now we have to find the distance between these two points which is given by the formula PQ is equal to square root of X1 minus X2 the whole square plus Y1 minus Y2 the whole square. Where the, uh, this is X1, 
y1 and this coordinate is x2 and this is y2. So now we shall substitute here. So pq will be equal to square root of now what is x1 it is negative 2 so minus 2 minus x2 is 4 the whole square plus y1 is minus 5 minus y2 is 7 so 7 the whole square so this will be equal to square root of what is minus 2 minus 4 so negative 2 negative 4 is negative 6 so negative 6 the whole square plus negative 5 negative 7 is negative 12 so minus 12 the whole square so now this can be simplified further so that is equal to square root of what is minus 6 the whole squared it is 36 anyway minus into minus will become plus so it becomes positive 6 6 times is 36 plus now here we have minus 12 the whole squared so it is minus into minus will become positive and 12 12 times is 144 so we get this so that is equal to square root of what is 36 plus 144 it is 180 units so therefore the distance between the points p and q is square root of 180 units you can leave it as such or you can simplify this even more so how can we simplify this this 180 can be written as 36 multiplied with 5 because 36 multiplied with 5 gives us 180 and so this 36 can be written as I mean now uh, because it is uh, inside the square root this is square root of 36 multiplied with 5 so when we take out 36 out of the square root it becomes 6 because we know that 6 6 are 36 and so square root of 36 can be written as 6 but still we have uh, 5 inside the square root so this becomes 6 square root of 5 units hope you have understood this problem so this is how we have to find the distance between two points thank you